Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to know how to use the month formula. Now we're going to return the month number in column B and the month name in column C. So let's start with the month number. And to do this, we use a function called month. Now it has one argument, which is serial number. So that's confusing because surely we're dealing with dates, not with numbers. So let me explain a little bit about how dates are stored in Excel. I'll come out of this formula temporarily and I'm going to select this first date. Now at the moment the date format is applied to that cell. But if I remove that date format by selecting general you can see that there is in fact a number behind the date. Now you might wonder what that number stands for. What does it mean? Well Excel's date system starts on the first day of the 20th century. So if I write 01-01-1900 into the cell and then remove the date format, you can see that that date is equal to 1. So these numbers are a count of days from the 31st of the 12th, 1899. So dates are really numbers, which is why the month function asks for a serial number. So let's go back to the month function and select our date and then close the bracket. And very simply, it just returns the month number for that date. Now, if I copy this down, you can see that two of these formulas have returned the value error. Now, if you see this, it's probably because the date that you're referring to, that you're trying to extract the month number from, isn't actually a date, not a proper date anyway. So if we take this one, there are only 30 days in September. So someone's entered that incorrectly. So if I amend that date, you can see that that gets rid of the value error. Now, what about this one? The date does exist, but these full stops are the things that are causing the error. You see the rest of the dates use forward slashes. The dots are confusing Excel. So if I replace those dots with forward slashes, it's going to get rid of the value error. OK, so the month function just returns the month number. What if you want to return the month name? Now to do this, you use a function called text. So equals text, open bracket, it has two arguments, value. So value would be the date, comma, and then format text. Now, what you've got to do in here start with some speech marks and then if I typed in three M's and then close the speech marks close the bracket and press enter you can see it returns an abbreviated month name now that may be what you want if you want a non-abbreviated month name then you just put an extra M between those speech marks so now I can copy this down and I get the month name for each of these dates. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.